Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris where I just ordered these guys to come back home because it's going to be a while before we're actually ready to go to war with the Talensian Kingdom. It's, it's going to be a little bit, no doubt about that. So that is fine for right now. We're going to tick forward. We need to continue to reinforce our fleets. That's mission number one here. So we're going to get quite a lot of Corvettes queued up here. That looks perfect. Yes, that will definitely do the trick. That, that'll take a little bit to get all of this rebuilt, but that's fine. So we can see that at this point, we're going to need a fair amount more Corvettes. In total, we need 707 additional minor artifacts to get our fleets rebuilt. That's not too bad. That number is definitely improving. How long until we can activate our relics? Under 900 days. Okay, that is definitely very, very interesting. Let's take a quick peek at our construction ships. Do we have any that are idle? Actually, yes, the Rhine. Okay, so we're gonna head over to Caesar, and what do we have going on here? Looks like we built the orbital ring, but we have not yet built an orbital habitat here. Okay, so for now, I'm going to head on over here. We don't have the influence to do it quite yet. So we're gonna have to leave this ship idle for the moment. That's okay. So next up, I want to check through our jobs here and see if we have any unemployment. We in fact do. Anzan's Prime here, we can put in a robot assembly complex. And then from here, we're definitely going to put in an energy grid as well as three reactor districts. And then the rest of this will build up into industrial, but we don't have the administration upgrade for getting the Ministry of Production yet. So I'm not going to bother with putting the rest of that in for now. We'll get there. Okay, Azalash I saw had something, and of course, this is full. This world is completely full for right now. We are going to resettle this over to, actually, Alpha Centauri Science seems fine. Ah, five here. Okay, well, that means that we got random people from the, uh, from, from the wormhole. Not, not really wormhole? There is a strange wormhole, but it's, it's very strange. <laughs> we got five randoms, and we assimilated them, is what that means. So, we've got this generator station here. And this is not really a generator station. We are lacking a Ministry of Production here. Can we get one? Actually, we can. So, a Ministry of Production and an, an Ancient Refinery, which is going to cost some ancient relics. That is unfortunate. But we're going to get alloy megaforges and civilian fabricators going in here. That will all be fine. And of course, we are currently lacking some amenities here too. So let's put in a hollow theater. Okay, something along the lines of that. Beautiful. Next, we've got this generator station here and we could certainly put in mineral purific purification hubs, energy nexus. This is going to be what, 12 habitats or rather 12 districts here? Yeah, so we're only gonna have like three districts to throw at industrials. Okay, noted. I guess that's fine. Let's just max out all of our districts here. And this will mostly be not industrialized. That's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. We've got a number of these that are going to be heavily industrialized, and that seems absolutely wonderful. So that is good. The Rhine is, of course, idle at this time, and there's not much we can do about that. Similarly, we're capped on our astral threads. Not much we can do about that either at this current moment. We will spend some astral threads, but now is unfortunately not the time for that. So we do have some available leader traits. I'm not too concerned about it right now. And reinforcements are indeed in transit. So what are we at right now for minor artifacts? The answer is 62. I mean, one more month tick and we'll be at over 10% of what we need. It's actually not too bad. Okay. Seems decent. This is going to be 45 total. So we can get the 5th Fleet 9 completely maxed out. That gets us our cruiser and our four corvettes, and that seems wonderful. So we're at 17 minor artifacts. We need 707 to get this fully maxed out at this point. That's fine. So for the moment, we're just going to continue to build those up. Seems completely and totally okay. At this point, of course, there's a number of things that we want to do. I want to see what this throne that these guys speak of is. The formless up over here. 
that would be very interesting. This is 166k. It's not particularly threatening, but maybe they'll bring some additional forces through. We're going to make sure that we win this. That is 100% going to happen. We will win it through massive amounts of overkill. Like, just insane levels of overkill is what we're going to do there. I'm not sure what exactly is going to come through there, if anything indeed does. And so we'll just make absolutely certain. It'll be fine. So the Rhine is currently idle, and we need 160 influence for that. That is one month tick away at this point. So that sounds good. We are going to build our mega structure here. This will be a Habitat Central complex. And we're lacking seven influence to get that going right now. We're just waiting on the month tick to wrap up here. 118. Yeah, this is going kind of slow. But, I mean, it's late game Stellaris. What do you expect? <laughs> It's it's going to be a bit on the slow side. Not the most optimized game in the universe, unfortunately. Okay. There we go. Month tick has happened, and the habitat is under construction. Perfect. When is our next constru construction ship going to be idle? Okay, orbital ring at 71%. This is a habitat at 85 so that is going to be in a situation where we need to build orbitals so that's not too bad there same thing here the adriatic is going to be done fairly soon okay so the susquehanna is definitely going to be a problem here we're building an orbital ring. We're going to need a habitat here. So influence is going to be an issue. But we've also got the Adriatic that is going to be finishing up with its orbitals very soon here. And that's going to need additional influence as well. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. We're going to have an influence squeeze coming up on us. Okay, that is noted. Not too big of a deal, but not amazing. For sure. So let's just check through here again. I doubt that there's anything too much at this point. It's not been all that long since we've checked through, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, that looks fine. So we're currently at 130 minor artifacts. That's really not too bad. Because that's almost 20% of what we need here. Very close to 20%. In fact, now that we got a month tick, we're at 158. We're going to reinforce our fleets here. And that is, of course, a bunch of corvettes. Now, we could build the destroyers, cruisers, and battleship, but that's not the way that the game wants us to build it, unfortunately, because we have the resources to do that. What we don't have is the minor artifacts to build the corvettes. We're working on it, but we don't have that for now. Let's check in on our relic timer. That is 645 days. Okay, noted. And then 150 days for both of these. Sure. That seems reasonably fine. Not too concerned about it. So over here on Alpha Centauri Science, we have a fair amount being worked on still. Minus 7 on the amenities. Okay. Eventually, we will likely replace this robot assembly complex with hollow theaters. They do produce amenities as it is. Initial colonization but we definitely need complete. some work on that eventually. We did just colonize this this habitat here, and that is, of course, wonderful. We're going to put in a robot assembly plant. Absolutely great. So that is perfect. Now, this fleet that I sent back, is that back now? I think it might be. Hang on, let's just check in over here. If all of them are in Seoul, then, then it is indeed back. Yes, it is back confirmed. Okay, so the Fifth Fleet 2 is not fully reinforced yet, of course. I'm sure that we have enough to be able to take on the guys in Azalash. I'm like 3,000% sure about that. But I kind of want to wait and let our minor artifacts build up a little bit more. Because if we just don't have a lot of minor artifact income. And I would rather not be particularly weak. I'd rather build up minor artifacts and be able to replace is the idea here. So we're going to continue to reinforce our fleets for now. We're up to 45 corvettes in the 5th Fleet 2. Well, that's going to go up to 50 corvettes. We still need 44 here. 
each and every Corvette costs a decent amount. How many minor artifacts is each Corvette? Hang on, that's not the button I wanted. This is the button I wanted. So a Corvette is 12 minor artifacts. So we can build like two Research Corvettes concluded. a month. Yeah, that's not ideal. Explosive weapon damage is also not ideal. That's not particularly relevant. Living reactive armor here is possibly something that we want to go for. Hang on. So if we look at our current armor hardeners, well, let's go down to like here. If we go down to this, this is 15% armor hardening. Yes, we absolutely want that. So we're going to change our current research to be living reactive armor. Disable auto research. Uh, change the research. There we go. Okay, I don't know why it wasn't doing that previously, but whatever. So now we have the living reactive armor coming in in 60 months. Now that is going to cost living metals. Okay, it's going to be relatively expensive. We don't have an income of living metal. We can buy it, though. We can buy a living metal, so I think that's reasonably fine. No income of living metal is kind of rough, though. No doubt about it. We may want to consider stocking up on it. Where exactly are we running armor hardeners? We're not running it in our Corvettes right now. And that's a good thing, ultimately. Although we we could probably drop our advanced afterburners. It's not giving us evasion. And we could put in reactive armor to increase our armor hardening here. Would that give us a chance of taking a hit on Corvettes? Like, the primary defense on Corvettes is evasion. But, if we were able to survive a hit, that might not be a bad thing. So, it would be something like this, right? So, that would be decent, in theory. So, if we were to swap this out, the speed on the Corvettes is likely not all that relevant. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'm not 100% convinced that we're going to do that for Corvettes. It would be very expensive to do that on Corvettes. If we go in here, we can see we, we are running armor hardeners on destroyers, on cruisers, on battleships, and on titans. So, we're already looking at like 31 living metal per fleet, but if we were to put that on Corvettes, we'd be looking at an additional 94 living, living armor per fleet, or rather living metal per fleet. That would like dramatically increase the cost of it. So I don't know that we actually want to go that route. Now, the Rubicon is idle out over here in Litugena. We're going to colonize this. Eventually it'll load, there we go. And we're going to grab ourselves a few orbitals here as well. Heavy on a few. So we're going to build a mega structure here. This is going to, of course, be a major orbital. We're gonna come out here and build a major orbital as well. And I believe it's only those two. This is going to be a very mediocre habitat. Now, the Susquehanna is in Golba. And of course, here is where we need to build ourselves a habitat. We are lacking the influence on that right now. So we'll just head on over to like this star and enter orbit. It's fine. Okay. So we're going to need to build up a decent amount of additional influence. We'll have that in a couple of months. So that seems okay. Rothier Prime, we're definitely going to upgrade our Habitat Central Control on. No doubt about that one. And also some zero-G research districts would be okay here. So we'll get those underway. What else do we have going on over here? The answer is not a whole lot. And that's not surprising. That's super not surprising. Minor artifacts, we are up to 123 on, though. And we're making solid progress on that. We need 502 in total to get this fleet fully reinforced. Looks good. We're gonna hit the reinforce all button. And that is a bunch of Corvettes. It's not 44 Corvettes. I don't know how many Corvettes that is, but I can tell you it's not 44. <laughs> Which is of course, not surprising, but also slightly unfortunate. So checking in on our relic timing here, 440 days. Okay, but we can probably do our astral threads, right? 
Yeah, Physics Insight and Astral Boost. Fantastic. So that is great. Now, the Adriatic is currently idle in Rebalius. I'm going to disband the Adriatic. I feel like we're still a little overstressing our income of influence. So we're going to go down to just the one idle construction ship at this time. That'll be fine. And that is, of course, the Susquehanna here. And we're going to have, like, three month ticks until we have enough here. So that is understood. It's going to take a little while for sure. There's apparently a planet with unemployment. Let's check into that, but I don't think it's going to be anything too relevant at this time, is my guess. Yeah, nothing too relevant. Apparently, there's a planet with unemployment, but... Uh, it doesn't it doesn't do anything okay <laughs> yeah I've, I've never figured out what control Q actually does I mean we can we can go to next and previous tabs easily enough with that hotkey but I guess the hotkey just puts us back in this tab yeah that's the way it works Q W E and R so weird okay that is not the way I would have implemented that hotkey I would have implemented the hotkey as opening the planet with the notification. <laughs> but whatever. Whatever. I guess that's fine. So, when is our next construction ship going to come idle? That's a question that I want to ask here. And the answer is we've got seven orders here. One order here, the Rubicon, will be pretty soon. Okay. It's going to be the Rubicon that comes idle next. And that is going to want to start building a habitat down over here. It's almost certainly going to be idle for a little bit as we wait for influence. But I guess that's okay. So, we've now got only one more month tick. Let's come on in here, build a mega structure. And we're lacking four influence for this habitat central complex. We're going to get that going as soon as we can. Of course, we're still waiting for about 10 more days here, and that is fine. Association status? I mean, we vote yes on everything. Who was that? The Urzuku Combine. Oh, that's these guys that we vassalized. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. They can, they can be associated with us. <laughs> They're our vassal. No problem whatsoever there, in theory. Okay, so the tick has happened, and at this point, I want to build a mega structure here. Habitat Central Complex. Perfect. So we're going to get that going. That's going to take a little while. No doubt about that. And let's check in on our number of minor artifacts. 117. Okay. That is fine. We are, of course, going to continue to reinforce. We have almost half of what we need. Almost. So we're going to get a bunch more Corvettes going here. That is, of course, not the full number of Corvettes, but it is getting much closer. So that looks phenomenal. So yeah, I think we're not going to do armor hardening on the Corvettes at least yet. Well, actually, hang on. So we know that it would take 31 plus 94. So 31 plus 94 is 125 living metal per fleet. In theory, assuming that all of our fleets are identical, which they're not because of the 5th Fleet 9 here. But, assuming that they were, we have, what, 12 fleets, I think? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So yeah, assuming that would be the case, then we would need 1,500 living metal. That's honestly not that bad. So what would it cost us to get 1,500 living metal? Well, currently, according to current prices, that would be 60,000 energy credits. It will be higher than that. It will definitely be higher than that. I'm going to buy in 500 right now because that price is minimum. And we're going to let the price start to drop back down. So that'll be fine for the moment. We're going to let that price drop, and we're just going to sit on this living metal for right now. This should be enough living metal on its own to get our current upgrades done, but not if we want to get Corvettes upgraded to have the armor hardening. The question is, how likely do we think it is 
that that's going to save Corvettes. They have the 90% evasion rate, right? But the way it is right now, if they get hit by basically anything, they're just gone. So what does that make it in terms of odds that they survive a shot, I wonder? And I think that's something that we'll just have to do and feel out. So I th I'm leaning towards doing it, but not immediately. Because we do need to finish up our current research here. That's 50 months remaining. So that's going to be a little while. No doubt about that. Okay, let's hop over here. I see we have some unemployment, including on Earth. And we're going to resettle these guys over to Alpha Centauri Science is fine. Cool. What else do we have ongoing here? There should be two planets with unemployment right now. And are there? Well, actually, yes. Rebellious won. So we could certainly put in a bunch of mining districts here and make this into a mining world. And I think that's not the worst idea in the world. Okay. So we could bring this up to an even number of districts. So this would be, we would need to build five, six districts here. Two, three, four, five, six. And then we could build one mining and one generator and have it be evenly distributed here. Okay. That seems reasonably fine. It's not, you know, going to be phenomenal, but it'll do. So now we're going to hop back over here, and we know that the Rubicon is likely to be the next ship that finishes. And that we're going to want to head into Camthrin, and we're going to want to enter orbit about right here. But we know that this is still going to be about 600 days away. So we might actually have enough influence by the time that happens. So that sounds good. We're not going to have any idle civilian ships for a while. By the time that happens, I'm expecting our minor artifact situation to be actually completely handled for us to be banking minor artifacts. So that would be great. We need 240 total minor artifacts right now. We have 116. We have half of the minor artifacts that we need at this moment. That's wonderful. I'm just going to wait until the month tick here because we'll get another 28, which is over 10% of what we need. We're only a few months away from having all of our minor artifacts that we need. So that is great. And in fact, research concluded. 145? Yep. Reinforce this. Beautiful. That looks great. This is Synapse Interceptors. Okay, I don't really care too much about that. Fleet Command Limit is also kind of irrelevant to us, but I guess it's fine. We could turn off auto research and we could have this be something that we choose, though, because this is really quite irrelevant. And so are these. So is this? Army damage may be a little less so. Food from jobs is not the biggest of deals either. I'm going to go for army damage, but any way we slice it, it's not going to really be a huge deal. Shield harmonics is good. We'll definitely go with that. Oh my, that is a lot of fleets. A lot of very mediocre fleets. Okay. Well, our fleets are fewer, but far stronger. No doubt about that. So that is absolutely fine for now. We do have two unemployment notifications here again, and I feel like we shouldn't. So let's go through here because that probably indicates that there is at least one that needs work. Okay, there are two. Perfect. So we're going to put in a robot assembly complex here. This is going to need an energy grid. We're also going to need a mineral purification plant. And nine of these 14 available districts are going to be eaten up by these resources. That's okay. That is absolutely fine. We'll get that going for now. And then Sapad Prime here, we're going to need a very similar situation, except that this is going to be a little heavier on the industry, it looks like. So that looks fine. Three zero-G research districts and three reactor districts. Perfect. And then after that, we'll make an industrial pivot, most likely three now, huh? So there's probably an additional one that just came in. Orbital has been built. Yep, that's understood. Is Rebalius considered one of those three? Yes, it is. Okay, so Rebalius is it. No problem then. Perfect. Checking in over here, we can see we need 103 minor artifacts. We have 65. That's well over half of what we need yet again. This number is getting really close to being what we need. 
So we're almost done with these Corvettes. This is going to bring us up to 90. We need four additional Corvettes, which is going to be 48 in theory, if, if I'm mathing correctly here. And that means two months. Two months ticks. Amazing. And then we'll get all these queued up, like, instantly. When it's no longer trying to build this. 46? Okay, that's even better. I like it. So 46 is great. We're at 36 right now. I'm going to hit the reinforce all button again. And we're just waiting on this last month's tick to get our fleets fully rebuilt. That definitely took a while. No doubt about that. Also, we're at 1922 for our naval cap. That's interesting. We're at 11 out of 10 Titans. Our naval cap dropped at some point. This is probably due to something the Galactic Community passed. Yeah, that's likely the case. Okay. Well, we'll work on that as well. That is fine. So we'll reinforce all of these. There we go. There's that Corvette and the Destroyers and the Cruisers and Council the Battleship. Agenda this ready. is all fully queued up at this point. We are now banking resources amazing. It is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we're going to continue our construction with all of these construction ships, but we're probably going to go get the throne from Azalash, and then we'll start thinking about fighting out over this way. That'll be interesting. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy Magar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, complete. Punching the Microphone, Tommy, Kintogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.